guys, welcome to another vlog. It is the day after my birthday. I had a lovely day yesterday of doing absolutely nothing. It was wonderful. And I love how that is my idea of like pampering myself now is to not do anything. <laughs> so I didn't do any work. I, you know, just poked around all day. You know, just kind of scrolled through Instagram leisurely. I chatted with some friends. I Zoomed with some friends who wanted to wish me a happy birthday. So it was just a really, just a really lovely day. My husband cooked me lunch. He cooked me dinner. He made me baby back ribs for dinner, which was lovely. I love ribs. <laughs> so that was a great carnivore dinner. And back to the grind today, I'm actually, all you know ready to film a video which i wanted to do but i just wanted to hop on and say hi i don't really have any exciting plans over the next couple of days so i don't know how how thrilling this vlog is going to be but i did want to show you some lovely um, birthday treats that i got and oh i did want to give you an update on the drapes here in the family room so i think i had mentioned that they had installed the drapes across our sliding door in the family room but the rod and the carriers so the things that the drapes actually attach to, those are wrong. I don't know if they're wrong or just the wrong length or width or, or whatever, I, I'm not exactly sure. But they still have to fix it. So uh, the installer came back, thought he had the right little carrier things uh, and didn't. He was like, I've never seen these carriers before. <laughs> so he had to go back to, um, the woman that I purchased the drapes from to ask where she got the rod from and now they're getting in touch with like the supplier of the rod. Anyway, it's ongoing. It is ongoing currently and thankfully it's it's functional. You know, I can open and close the drapes, which is great because, you know, I, I just really want to block out the sun come like late afternoon. It really comes like right into right through that sliding door. Although the light is shifting now, now that it's, now that it's fall, happy fall. Um, anyway, so it is, it is working. I can open and close them. There, it just doesn't, it doesn't look right and it's not right. So I can't wait for them to fix it. Uh, but I did order some other drapes, which will come hopefully within a month or so, not quite as long of a wait as these. Um, but anyway, I'll vlog that when that happens. Cause I'm excited for, uh, for those. What else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and film and then I'll come back and, you know, make some lunch and I'll show you some fun birthday goodies that I got. Hello, I just finished filming, <laughs> obviously, and I just threw a, <laughs> just threw a steak on the bobby. Um, I just threw a steak on the grill. <laughs> oh my God, it is so, nice out. I can't believe how the weather has just turned into just something incredible here. There's my beautiful ribeye going. It is a pretty thick cut steak. So I have like the outer burners going and I have the steak in the middle just kind of doing a, an indirect heat kind of a thing just to get the, the center of it cooked and then I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna turn all the burners on and so you get that nice like charred, crispy outside. So I think I'm gonna do indirect heat for like 10 minutes each side because the thermometer is registering only at about 300 degrees. So I'm gonna do, yeah, maybe 10, 10 minutes on each side and then I'm gonna turn it up. Um, and when I turn all the burners on, it gets up to like 500 something degrees. I think you guys will have seen this video already, but this is my Nordstrom video. And I'm wearing those new Chantecaille luminescent eye shades, the Tiger and the Leopard, the two shades. And it's really, I mean, they're really, really pretty. Probably could have blended this out a little bit better. <laughs> um, and these are the new La Perla lipsticks, which are so, so, comfortable. I mean, they're touted to be matte lipsticks, but they're just, they're really comfortable. Anyway, you guys probably saw that video, so I'm not going to go on and on, but oh, I'm just loving it. I think the big winner for me though, is this Dior blush. In this lighting, you can't really see it that well, but oof, it is like the perfect nudie, little bit of peach, a little bit of pink. Like it's, oh, it's just like the perfect fall blush. All right, here is the inside. So it actually looks pretty good. And this is the flip side, so it's not quite as <laughs> burnt. I don't mind a little charred flavor though, I have to be honest. I don't mind a black and blue. So anyway, lunch is served. Okay, steak has been ingested. I'm just 
Taking a look at this La Perla lipstick. So this is the terracotta red. And I just ate a like a really greasy steak. It's faded, but I think it actually looks really good. It's not, it doesn't say it's like a long lasting lipstick or anything, but I don't feel like if I was out, I don't feel like I'd have to touch up. Like, I feel like this looks acceptable. Oh, okay. And my steak, even though it was pretty charred on one side, was actually quite delicious. That like, that little bit of like burnt, charred flavor, I do really like. Okay, um, so I just have to show you guys my, I have a manager and a management company and they sent me the most incredible floral arrangement for my birthday. Is this not incredible? I did post an Instagram photo of this. Aren't they so beautiful? And they're from that florist in Las Vegas that I love called English Garden Florist. Look at how beautiful this is. And I generally just, you know, if you were to ask me what kind of flowers or color arrange, you know, like color story that I want for an arrangement, I would just say like whites, like that's really just all I like. But this is so beautiful to me. I mean, I do like orange. It's so like fall without being too, I don't know, like sometimes I feel like um, arrangements that are like fall inspired look a little too like burnt out, you know, where there's a lot of like real dark russet reds and browns and like the marigolds. Not that those aren't beautiful, but this still looks really fresh to me. And so, you know, inspired by fall, I, I just love it. I'm like so enamored with this arrangement. And then another surprise uh, showed up in the mail. I got a box from, from Luna. Uh, Luna Scamuzzi in Milan, Italy. She is the jewelry designer behind Lucifer Vere Onestis. The um, wedding ring that I have, she has sent me this ring in the past. I, I mean, my absolute favorite jewelry, just the best. It is like my soul personified as jewelry. And she sent me earrings and I, I mean, my, I can barely speak right now. I'm getting choked up, but my breath was taken away when I opened up this box and I'll show you some footage of me actually unboxing it because when I realized who it was from, <laughs> I took out my vlogging camera and I was like, let me at least record this part. But I knew I wasn't gonna be able to contain myself. I was, I had tears, whatever. It just so incredibly moved. So these are the earrings that she sent over. They are rose gold and they're diamond encrusted. And aren't they just so beautiful? Look at that slight like wave to them. I mean, just the organic shaping to all of her jewelry is, uh, it just, it really, like I said, it just really, really speaks to me. I feel like if I could put into terms exactly what I want in jewelry, it is, it is this. And she hand makes all of her jewelry. They're all like one of a kind. A lot of her jewelry, like this ring, she has very similar styles, but they're all different. They're all different. They're just incredible. So, oh, thank you so much, Luna. I, I don't think she realized it was my birthday. I think it was just a coincidence, but they, they showed up on my birthday. So <laughs> thank you so, so much. And I feel like they're so perfect. You know, I can wear them every day, but they're so special too. And you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bold with my jewelry. So even if it was a little bit more flashy, I'd probably wear it every day anyway. But these, these are perfect for every day. Diamond hoops, like you can't go wrong. A huge, huge thank you to Luna for these beautiful earrings. They are just, they're just breathtaking, breathtakingly beautiful. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I honestly don't remember where I left off with you yesterday. I think I, what was I doing? Did I eat lunch or something? <laughs> did I make that steak with you? I think that was the last thing um, I did with you. After that, you know, I just ran some errands. I had to edit and you know, nothing, nothing really vlog worthy, but I'm back. It is the next morning. Miss Butters is here just dying to go outside because our landscapers are here. And um, she, if she sees a person, she just wants to play. So we have um, my landscaping team here. And what they're gonna be doing is putting a tree in this one spot, basically where this gentleman is standing. Um, because we have, I don't know if you guys can see, but we have these trees here. And they're really lovely and like evenly spaced. And then I feel like we have this one spot 
that's like empty because then we have another tree over here. So they're just putting another one there. I always like to consult with my landscaper. Um, I always ask him what he thinks is best. He agrees. He thought it was gonna fill in a little bit more uh, when he, he's the one that did the original landscaping here. So he thought it was gonna fill in a little bit more, but he agrees that like, it would probably look better if we just put a tree there. So we're putting a tree there, which I'm really excited about. And I'm sorry if you can hear <laughs> all the machines going in the background. Um, but this was a question I couldn't get to in my new home Q&A uh, that I wanted to, but now seems like more of an appropriate time. But someone, in fact, I think maybe more than one person asked me about my landscaping. They're like, it seems really lush and you're in the middle of the desert. Like, how is that possible? Um, I, I mean, I think, yes, Las Vegas is definitely in the desert, but I feel like when people think of the desert, they think of it as like the Sahara when you just see like ripples of sand. That's not, that's not this desert. <laughs> There's definitely trees and things like pine, these like really fine pine trees are native here. And there's, you know, some shrubbery, other things that are native to the Vegas area. My landscaping is landscaping. Um, the LVVWD, which is the Las Vegas Valley Water District is really, really strict in terms of water usage for obvious reasons. And so you have a tight schedule of when you can water, how long you can water for. And um, starting September 1st, we had to like lower the watering down and everything. Anyway, it is just a matter of finding the right plants, which is um, why my landscaper is such a genius because he was able to create this really kind of like lush looking um, backyard and we water um, for six minutes, three times a week. That's it. That's all we do. And I know with new home bills, we're not allowed to have real grass down. So I have AstroTurf, I don't actually have grass. Um, grass requires the most water uh, versus like plants and things. So yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. And you know, sometimes I, I think like in any climate, any landscape, I do have like little shrubs that die that need to be replaced. Um, Unfortunately, I really hate it. I try and save them. So that's how our backyard, or that's why our backyard looks so lush. Um, I think you have to have a great landscaper and you have to pick the right plants uh, to live here. And um, yeah, he just did like such a good job, such a good job. So I have had a fairly productive morning. I'm still sweating because I went out for a little jog this morning which felt great. Um, my left hip doesn't feel that great. So I definitely have to stretch that out and use my little massage tool in there. But I did that. I walked Miss Butters. I had a phone call, like a Zoom call this morning. Um, and then this afternoon is when I'm going live on the Bobby Brown channel, which will have happened already when you see this. And I've done a lot of live streams and I've done a lot of public speaking in my life. So I'm not too nervous, um, but I definitely want to prepare. Um, I have already prepared, but I need to kind of refresh and just make sure like I cover all the points that I want to make and everything. So um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. I should probably edit a little bit beforehand as well, but I did get some more um, birthday presents in. Speaking of Bobby Brown, this was such a pleasant surprise. So I got a gift, a birthday gift from Bobby Brown. Isn't that nice? Something from Joe Malone. This is, oh, an English pear and freesia candle. Oh, you guys, it's like they read my mind. This is the candle I like to um, bring out in the fall, winter season. For some reason, this smells like holidays to me. I don't know why. I have a huge like lime basil candle burning and that's perfect for the spring, summer. Not quite ready to put that away, but I was just thinking to myself that I needed to pull these out. Oh, thank you so much to Bobby Brown. They are just a wonderful team over there. Thank you. And then this box arrived from Bloomingdale's. Someone has sent you a gift from Bloomingdale's. I have no idea. It says, open me last to keep it a surprise. Goodness, this is from Amanda, my manager, and the management company, YMU, that I'm with. Oh my goodness, this is such a surprise. Holy cow. Oh my god. 
What is going on? I love, love Michael Aaron stuff. <gasps> oh, this is too much. <gasps> oh my God. Is that not stunning? God, this is really heavy. This is so beautiful. And I love calla lilies. How did they know? <gasps> it has like a little like built-in base here. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Thank you so much, Amanda. She is the best. She, she keeps me organized because it's nearly impossible for me to do so on my own. Maybe it's a candle holder. <laughs> hey guys, I just finished uh, my live stream on the Bobby Brown channel. It was so much fun. This is the look. Um, I've actually run an errand since then. So that foundation, I'm telling you, Long wear is the most accurate term for this foundation. Uh, I actually ran to Costco and got some really amazing, I think they're amazing finds. I will show you later. Uh, I'll let you know what I'm talking about. But like, I was really kind of surprised when I saw them and whatever. Anyway, what I wanted to do with you now, because today is garbage day, <laughs> and I have a lot of PR piling up. So I wanted to do a quick little PR haul with you guys. First of all, this box, I'm not sure you could appreciate how large it is, but it's probably like 18 by 18. It's huge, it's really huge. And inside we have, and this is very heavy also, the Jonathan Van Ness new hairline. I saw this pop up at um, Sephora and I was intrigued. Okay, wow, I don't even know if I have this whole thing in the frame. Anyway, this whole cover slides out ta -da, to reveal everything. Let's see, we have hydrating shampoo. Ooh, are these metal? These are metal bottles. I guess they're recyclable, which is great. Hydrating conditioner, deep moisture mask, air dry cream, what's that? Air dry perfection, diffuser, nailed it. Work desired amount through any kind of hair to add buildable, touchable hold that lets your natural texture shine. That is very appealing to me. Um, and then we have some instant recovery serum. We have pre-wash scalp oil. Ooh, that's intriguing. And then we have daily volumizing shampoo, daily volumizing conditioner and then strengthening shampoo and strengthening conditioner. A huge thank you to the JVN team. This is wonderful, thank you so much. I got this cute um, bag from the Detox Market and let me just show you what's inside. I think I may have thrown out the card that they always include letting me know like what this, uh, which box this is because they do a lot of detox boxes. Anyway, I'll have all the information down below in my description box, I apologize. But included in this particular box, we have David's Premium Toothpaste, the Pi Heavy Metal Body Calm, a toner from Sahajan, Sahayan, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I apologize, but a balanced toner, Naturopathica Cleansing uh, Facial Polish, Full Moon Serum from Graydon, and a moisturizer from Alpen Beauty, and then a mini mascara from Vapor Beauty. 100% Pures Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. And that is it for this bag. Oh, thanks Detox Market. They always have the best bags of stuff. It's like Christmas opening up their boxes. Again, I'll leave all the information down below as to exactly which box this is and like the savings that you're getting, etc., etc. Okay, next up, I got a box from Aesop Beauty, which is exciting, very, very exciting. Really been enjoying their products. I've been enjoying their body products for a long time and just started using their uh, face products and really like them. I'm just trying to figure out how to open this box. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, fragrances! So they introduced Other Topias, a trio of fragrances that transport wares to realms both real and imagined. Send your senses elsewhere. Oh wow, okay. So they've sent over Eremia. Sorry, the bottle's a little dirty. Hold on. Very Aesop in terms of aesthetic. It's fresh, but it's not like 
citrusy or anything. It actually has like kind of a deep note to it. it. Opens with bright citrus and green accords in prelude to waxy florals, pollen, and a powerful earthiness. All right. Ooh, lovely. It is not down on any map. True places never are. Oh, I love these. These are so cool. What are these called? You look through one end and everything kind of turns into like this prismatic pattern. Anyway, I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it. How neat. Well, thank you so much, Aesop. I'm dying to try the other two fragrances now that I have this one. And Kier Weiss sent me their latest mascara. I already purchased this mascara and I'm happy actually to have a backup because, spoiler alert, I really enjoy it. It's a really nice mascara and it's the first certified organic mascara um, for Made You Look Volume. So this is the Impossible Mascara. I'm not gonna open this one because, like I said, I just bought one and I opened it and tried it already, um, but it comes in this beautiful red refillable packaging. Big thank you to Kier Weiss for sending this over. This is awesome, thank you so much. And then, who's this from? LVMH, Givenchy, a box from Givenchy. They did send me these shades in their lipstick which is really lovely, but now they've also sent me, wow, the, um, wow, I cannot pronounce this, Linter D, Linter D, sorry, the Linter D perfume. Look at this bottle, it's sexy, huh? The first whiff that I got was like caramel. Oh my God. This is such a beautiful, like gourmand, deep evening, sexy kind of fragrance. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, here are the notes, by the way. So, carnal tuberose, opulent jasmine, ignited with a fiery red accord of pimento leaf, blood orange, and ginger, leaving a floral, spicy trail. That's amazing because all I can really smell is caramel. So, all of those notes apparently remind me of caramel. Okay. Next up, I got something from Trini London and they sent over their BFF Rebalance Tinted Serum in the shade Molly. I don't know if I can tell the shade from, no, the, the tube is um, painted over, but I will definitely give this a shot. I really enjoy all the Trini London products I've tried. I really, really enjoy. Thank you so much, Trini London. This is, uh, this is lovely. And then, oh, oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is from BK Beauty. They just did a collab with Angie from Hot and Flashy. I love Angie, such a big fan of her channel. And well, a huge congratulations to Lisa J and Angie. This is just like, like a match made in heaven. You know when like a collab just makes so much sense? That's how I feel about this collab. So I believe there's seven brushes and it is 125 for the set of seven and I believe they collaborated on the design of all of these brushes. So I believe they're all brand new, all brand new shapes, and they are meant for more mature skin. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to use this in an upcoming video, but yeah, here are the seven brushes. This is the one, A506. I've been so excited for because it is inspired by basically a smaller version of their 101 brush, which as you guys know, is just one of my favorite foundation brushes. And then we've got um, five eye brushes and then one beautiful angled brush. I feel like this is multi-purpose. Powder, contour, bronzer, blush, everything. So great. Oh, thank you so much, BK Beauty. I cannot wait to try these out. And again, a huge congratulations to Angie and Lisa J. This is wonderful. And then, ooh, something from, something from Caudalie. Oh, wow. Okay, so they sent over their Instant Detox Mask. It tightens pores, removes excess oil, purifying clay, coffee, and grape. Isn't that wonderful? And look, the cap is wood. How cool. Oh, this tube is 100% recyclable. Awesome, but then they also included a pack of face halos, which I love, 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 love. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Caudalie, this is wonderful. And then, I don't know who this is from, but there's a lot of Disney reference on here. 
Ah, Beauty Bay in collaboration with Disney Color. Oh, wow. I definitely have never got sent anything from Beauty Bay. Whoa, okay. Okay, I don't think I actually got anything from Disney. Maybe it's just the box that they have at the moment. But I got some eyelashes. I got a lip gloss quad. Awesome. Oh, what a fun box of goodies. Let's see what else there is. Um, 10 piece eye and face brush set. Whoa, more brushes. And then, what's this? Sample Beauty, the plush palette. Oh my. How lovely. Was it Tara Babies? Maybe talk about these beauty, is it these palettes? I may be misremembering, but I feel like maybe she did. Anyway, um, Skin Hit Nourishing Oil. Lovely. Crayon Eyeliner Trio. These are the eyeliners. So these all look like, I don't know, you could do whatever you want with them, especially all the funky eyeliner looks that I'm seeing, but I would probably use the lightest one and maybe in my waterline. I don't know. You can get really creative with eyeliners this color. How awesome. Wow. Thank you so much, Beauty Bay. This is really a surprise and such a delight. And then, oh, last but not least, this is actually from a subscriber. Oh, I know she's she would not want me to say her name, so I'm not going to, but thank you. <laughs> you know who you are. Oh, it's a birthday gift. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <gasps> she sent me over that beautiful pressed powder from Chanel. It's limited edition and I think it's only in Asia. I think it's only in Asia. Oh my God. Oh, thank you so much. It comes with a brush. And here's the powder. I don't know if you guys have seen this on Instagram. But do you see it? It's like the storefront in Paris. Isn't that so cute? Oh, this is incredible. I'm so touched. Thank you so much to go through all the trouble of getting it because it's not available here in the US and then sending it to me. Oh, thank you. All right, well, that's it for all the packages that I got. Um, I have a lot of boxes to break down. It is recycling night, so let me get to that. And I'll see you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, good morning. I think it's been, I can't remember <laughs> where I last left off with you guys, but I think it's it's been more than a day uh, since I vlogged last. Um, I haven't actually been feeling well. Um, I don't, I've been trying to just ignore it <laughs> while I've been working or vlogging. Um, but just, just so you guys know, in case I look or act weird or whatever. Um, but I've been dealing with like very, very low grade, uh, vertigo. It's, I mean, I, I've dealt with vertigo in the past. It's just something I have, um, when my sinuses act up. It's, it's usually like the perfect storm of seasonal allergies and that's when my sinuses get inflamed. Um, stress and maybe other, other environmental factors like dust or something. Um, and sometimes I feel like it's hormonal. So if I kind of um, pay attention to when I get it, it is usually around like the same time of the month and I'll get like tension headaches and yeah, I, I kind of, I don't know if, it's like a chicken or the egg. I don't know if I get the tension headache and that kind of sets off the vertigo, like that, that's the, the final <laughs> component for the perfect storm. Or if I start to get the dizziness and then the tension headache kind of starts. But anyway, um, thankfully it has not turned into full blown vertigo, which is completely debilitating and I can't do anything. Um, you know, I can't eat, I can't drive, I can't sleep. Um, I just sort of, you know, position myself in like the least agonizing uh, position so that like my head feels the best, although it just feels terrible. And it's usually some weird position where I'm sitting like halfway up and I've got pillows propped against me and my head is like, you know, kind of like hanging in a weird way. Um, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's, it's terrible. I wouldn't wish vertigo on my worst enemy. Um, but right now for like the past week or so, I've just had, it's almost like you have permanent motion sickness. So I've been kind of nauseous. My head feels like, um, 
like everything, I don't know, like when I look around, everything looks like it's kind of like choppy. It's just, it's really weird. If you have ever experienced vertigo or you have problems with vertigo or dizziness or any of this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I cannot move my head quickly. If I move my head quickly to the side, um, the room will start spinning. And again, thankfully it doesn't, it doesn't just continue and get worse, which is what vertigo is. Um, it'll stop, it'll slow down, but I, it's like, I don't want to chance it. I don't want to, I don't want to set off the vertigo. Um, and in the mornings, like right now, it is the absolute worst. I think because I've been laying down all night. And so when I get up, everything has to like, um, adjust. So I, I didn't even think of this purpose when we bought our bed. Um, so we bought a sleep number bed when we moved to this house and I really wanted the adjustable base so that I could prop myself up when we were watching TV or if I was reading in bed or whatever. I just really liked having that option. My husband wasn't that into it. Um, he was like, Ugh, just reminds me of a hospital bed, but I convinced him, um, you know, we tried them out in the store and he was like, okay, you know, this is, this is really comfortable. So we decided to get adjustable beds and didn't even think about it, but it has been great for the vertigo because if I lay all the way down, the room starts to spin. But if I prop myself up just a little bit, <laughs> it really helps. And so I've been able to sleep, which is really, really great. Anyway, um, I've been taking um, this prescription drug that my uh, doctor gave me. I, I'm pretty sure, I looked it up and I'm pretty sure it's just like a really strong, strong like prescription strength um sorry my sliding door is open and there's a plane flying over head uh sorry what was that oh uh the prescription strength dramamine um which is what the doctor has prescribed to me that does help that helps a lot but i don't i don't want to just take that every day um i've been taking that um I, actually what i'm going to do today which i should have done i should have done a while ago I take a Claritin every day and I just feel like that should take care of my allergy issues. Uh, but it's not, <laughs> it's not. And I really have been meaning, I haven't had time. I've really been meaning to go to Walgreens and get um, like a stronger decongestant, like a, a saline spray, uh, Flonase, a neti pot, just something to really clean out my sinuses because it's like I can almost feel the pressure, sorry, this is gross. I can almost feel the pressure in my sinuses. So let's move on. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I'm like, am I acting weird or looking weird in my videos? Because I freaking feel very, very weird. And when I, when I have this, and again, for those of you with vertigo, you may know what I mean, because like things are kind of always moving or at least, well, appearing like they're moving, I feel like it's really hard for me to just look like straight ahead at one thing. Like my eye wants to keep kind of like doing this because like things are doing that. So anyway, again, if I, if I look weird, if my eyes look weird, if I feel like I'm looking really shifty, it's because it's because of, it's because of this going on, but I'm really trying to like focus and look at you, <laughs> look at you straight on. Um, but there are a few little home updates that I wanted to share with you. Um, one being that finally we got our sliding door drapes. We got those fixed. So in my last few vlogs, well, I vlogged them being installed and how the rod that came with this uh, drapery in the family room was just wrong. The carriers in there, there was the wrong number of them. They couldn't just cut them off because they're all strung together. Anyway, the installer came back and he thought he just needed to replace the carriers in the rod, but he he's like, I've never seen these carriers before. Maybe this is a new model. This is so strange. And he's someone that's like been doing this for 30 years. Anyway, long story short, he came back and he basically like made a rod for me using things that of course that he has and using carriers carriers is that that thing in the rod that the actual drapery like snaps or hooks onto so um yeah he's like i've given you like hotel grade ones he's like so this is it's sturdier than the last one it looks a little bit um, bigger than the last rod that we had and i actually like it better 
I thought I wasn't gonna like it because it was it looks uh, bigger, but it actually looks like it looks good. Let me show you. So it's yeah, it's just thicker than the old rod. It's also more squared off. The other rod looked a little uh, more rounded, but I yeah, I don't mind this one. And we are gonna put a valance over this whole thing because when the drapes are closed, I think it looks fine. But when they're open, which is most of the time. You know, you can see the brackets here. It's just not, you know, it doesn't look that cute. And it's not something that ever bothered me in, in my apartments or whatever, but in this home, I would really like it to look a little bit more polished. So this is what it looks like open. And then let's close it. And this is what it looks like closed. So, yeah, when it's closed, I feel like it looks fine. And I love the amount of light that it lets through. It really is like the perfect amount, even in the late afternoon when the sun is just beaming through, it's still fine. There's like no glare on TV. There's no actual, like it doesn't make it all the way over to this wall, which is where we eventually want to um, put the TV, move the TV. So um, yeah, I'm so happy with it. And then the edges of it, like these are, permanently kind of wrapped around. So it's just really nice. They did a really nice job. So I'm really happy, really happy with the drapes. Yay, they're finally done. Good morning, butters. Bless you. Every time I come by the uh, sliding door, she gets excited because she wants to go out. I left the door open for you. You can go out any time. Then some really exciting exciting finds at Costco. <laughs> so I went to Costco to get my eggs and they actually had these area rugs that looked pretty decent. I thought if anything, they would make great area rugs just for the moment, you know, if I need to replace them at a later date, I can do so. But these were $180 and they look pretty good. So I have, I already brought one upstairs and it looks a little bit different from this one. Here's a picture of it. Yeah, so it's pretty much like eight by 10. And here's a picture of this particular rug. So it's, I think once it's rolled out, it's gonna look pretty subtle, but this is like the pattern of it. And there's just a little bit of like fibers in there that have a sheen. But do you like it? So we're gonna put this one in the guest room and then I got one like same type of area rug, same size and everything, but the design on it is a little bit different and I'm gonna put that in my finishing room because when I did my um, fashion try on haul in that room, the echo was so, so bad that I was like, I have to just get a just get a rug in here. And that room isn't like super huge. So getting an area rug would really help. So I'm really excited for those. I'm gonna lay them out today and I will show you guys what they look like. Actually, before I leave you, I'm going to put on some of these Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold eye masks. I feel like my eyes have been extra special puffy. Again, I think my sinuses and all of this is related and allergies and all that. So I'm gonna put these on. These are great. I've only used these once before a long time ago and they just sent a whole bunch to me again. And they're gold. <laughs> Ooh, they're so cooling. I have them in the fridge. Ooh, that feels good. Mm-mm. Amazing, how long should I leave these on for? 10 to 15 minutes, awesome. There is one other thing that we got at Costco. It's so crazy, um, but it's just, it's such a typical thing that I would purchase. We got this whole hamon. Basically, it comes with the stand, obviously this whole hunk of ham, um, a knife, like the whole thing. I can't wait to set it up. And it is gluten-free, obviously. <laughs> lactose-free, coloring free, and no added nitrates, which is like the one thing I look for in preserved meats, because usually they preserve with nitrates. But the only ingredients in here is uh, the Serrano ham and salt. I had a friend in New York that had one, and it was always just sitting out on his counter, and I always <laughs> was so jealous of it. 
I was like, I want just like a leg of ham on my counter. So we're going to set that up later too. Sorry, don't be alarmed <laughs> at the extreme close up. Um, but I feel like my bags, I feel like they've been def deflated. What do you, what do you say? Diminished, right? They look less puffy. Thank you, Wonder Beauty. Those were really helpful. Hey guys, I just finished filming and I wanted to show you my look because I love it. It's so soft looking. I just love it so much. So this is for a video that's gonna go out or go, uh, go live. Wow, can I talk? Go live on the 29th, which is Wednesday. And I don't wanna spoil the surprise. I'm gonna list everything that I have on my face down below in my description box if you're interested, but wait. Wait until Wednesday the 29th to pull the trigger. Okay, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but wait, don't buy anything just yet. Okay. All right, I think I need to do some B-roll for this video, kind of show some of the products up close and do some editing. I either need to do some editing or I need to do more filming. I can't decide, but I do need a snack right now. I don't know why, I'm kind of hungry today. And I think I've mentioned this before, but snacking on these carb light meat heavy diets. I'm doing the carnivore, if you're unaware, I'm doing the carnivore diet, it's been great. Um, but snacking is a real challenge and I'm such, such a snacker. So I've got pork rinds, I've got um, pepperoni crisps, uh, oh, opened, open pork rinds, and then I have beef sticks. Maybe I'll do a beef stick. It's strange, because I usually want something crunchy, but yeah, I think I'll do a beef stick. I haven't tried these before. I picked these up at Sprouts, I think. They're spicy beef sticks. How exciting. 100% um, grass-fed, and no any of those things, which is great. Right, I'll try these. They look, they look fairly normal. <laughs> 10 grams of protein, 120 calories. Oh, for the whole package. I wasn't sure if it was per beef stick. <laughs> it's for both. Okay. This is like a deal. I wonder how spicy it is. Definitely spicy. A little kick. Not too bad though. It's not unbearable. It lingers for a little bit, but not too long. I feel like the texture of these, these NYX sticks, is the closest to a Slim Jim. That could be a good or bad thing. I don't really know, but I feel like it is very similar to a Slim Jim, where the other beef sticks that I've had I think mainly I've had Archer Farms. I think that's the name of them. Archer Farms. Um, those taste more, I don't know. They just, they're not quite at the, something about the texture, not quite as Slim Jim-ish, but these are very similar to Slim Jim. I think it's the casing that reminds me of Slim Jim. Wow. I haven't had Slim Jim since I was little. That was something my brother and I <laughs> would always snack on. Ew. So, my mother is coming over for dinner tonight. She has not been over since we moved in. She came to look at the house with us, of course. Um, when we were looking and when we were kind of like honing in on this house, I was like, I should bring my mom over, see what she thinks. Um, of course, she approved. She actually loves the house. <laughs> she may love it more than I do. <laughs> and I love the house, but every time I talk to her, she's like, she just gets so like dreamy about it. Anyway, I was like, mom, you haven't been over, mainly because, um, you know, she's been needing help with things and, you know, I put, I put gas in her car or whatever. So I usually end up having to go over there just to help her with bills and run errands for her or whatever. And so it like dawned on me. I was like, mom, you haven't, you haven't been over since we moved in. Cause I keep coming over here and she's like, oh yeah, no, it's okay, whatever. And I was like, no, come over for dinner tonight. And she was like, can I bring my own food? <laughs> but you know, moms, 80 year old moms, you know moms, they get, they get set in their ways. And yeah, she, she just, she likes her food. <laughs> she likes, she's very particular <laughs> about what she eats. Maybe that's where I get it from. She's very particular about what she eats and how it's prepared. So she's, <laughs> she's gonna bring over her own food. I was like, okay. Uh, but I told her I am gonna be making some chicken uh, for dinner tonight and she's welcome to some <laughs> if she wants. <laughs> Uh, but that's what I'm doing tonight. She's coming over at five. I also worry, like I don't want her to drive at night. So she's coming over at five and leaving at seven. <laughs> I'm gonna be very insistent that she leaves before it gets dark because I just, I don't like her driving in the dark. Um, 
so yeah so that's what i'm doing this evening so yeah i've got to get all my work done by five so this is always the big dilemma well i was gonna say for youtubers but for me definitely i'm gonna guess for a lot of uh youtubers it's like i'm all made up i'm like ready to film but after filming one video it's hard it's it's hard to get up the energy to film another video but i really I really want to since I'm all made up and my hair is plastered in place and everything. Um, but I kind of just want to edit. I kind of just want to sit there and just, I don't know. I should film. I should probably film another video. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this up and save it for another day. Hey guys, I'm in my finishing room. Uh, my mom just left. We had a lovely time. Um, it was just getting dark out so she rushed on home. <laughs> Again, I don't like her driving in the dark. Um, so anyway, I rushed up to my finishing room because I wanted to get this rug unrolled and like, you know, start getting it like flattened out and it breathing. And I really like this rug. It's not, it's not very thick. It's not very like cushy, but um, it's, it's better than a lot of other rugs that I've had in the past. So let me turn you around. I'm trying to figure out, there's like a direction to um, like the, the sheen of this. So hang on, let me, let's try this. Okay, so this is basically like the pattern of it. And as I walk around, you're gonna see how it gets kind of silvery. And isn't that neat? I think it's so pretty. I actually think I may switch it around because you walk into the room from over there, and so you would see it from this direction first. And I think I'd rather, I don't know, I think maybe, well, actually you can see a bit of the silver here. Okay, I'll leave it like this. Um, but I really like this pattern, and it is soft. It is stated to be durable, we will see. And again, the size of this rug is 10 feet by just about eight feet, two inches short of eight feet. Yeah, I really like it. I'm glad, like I went to Costco to get this one for this room and um, decided to pick up the other one for the guest room, which we still have to bring upstairs and unroll, but I'm glad I did. I was like, uh, do I need to get two like right now? I'm glad I did, because at Costco, I feel like if you don't, get the thing when you see it, you may never see it ever again. So glad we did that. I'm gonna have to vacuum it, of course, and maybe get everything going in the same direction. And it's fine. I think for $180, this is really nice. A really nice little area rug. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I still haven't unboxed that hamon. So we'll do that in the next vlog. So thanks again for hanging out with me. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.